Hello, uh, in this video I wanted to show you something I've been working on. So uh, for a project, for an agricultural project, uh, we wanted to be able to classify uh, leaves. But for that we need uh, to train a neural network and for that we need the data. Uh, we had one approach, um, I made a video um, about it in English as well. And uh, in this case, uh, the idea was to generate data uh, synthetically. So we had 3D files. I forgot to open the, um, the 3D file. Sorry, it's this one. Um, so the idea was to get something like this. This was taken from this data set from the University of Bonn and um, we had this so we had three files three uh, models that we bought one of them being an onion um, leaves model one of them being a carrot leaves model and the other one being a bit leaf model and I wrote a script this one so the first part generates uh, copies uh, these models and spreads them across I guess I can run the script if I don't render it to, sorry to give you an idea of what exactly is being done run script so this is what is being done you, you have rows of um, either carrots onions or beet leaves of course you can add more if you have more and then you have a moving camera that just scrolls uh, all over these and renders the, the data. This is this part. So to get the result, we need to run this command. So blender.b uh, to say background. So no GUI because we don't need it to render. Then the file data generator that will be available on GitHub, of course then f0 to say frame 0 because we only have one frame everything is done in this frame we just change the position render again change the position render again then we say execute the script data generator dot script so this is this is what i use for development but this is not the, the script that is being used to render the script that is being used to render is this one which is a copy of the original one um, so I go back here and when I launch uh, this so I need to click OK it launches the render and then it asks for something because I asked it to, to do so and uh, it takes some time to render even on a good GPU you can of course change parameters on how uh, trust uh, fully realistic the render you want so the, the more ray tracing you have the more uh, realistic it gets but the more time consuming it also gets for the size you can also change it here of course when i'm saying here i mean uh, in this in this script <coughs> um, and sorry um, then uh, it takes I don't know half an hour or something like this to get the so in this case we have 500 images you can change the step so if you want the camera to move um, with sh shorter to, to render more pictures and to have a smaller distance between every picture you can change this this will be a parameter so you saw how you got um, you were invited to enter some values you will be invited to enter also the density of the of this how many uh, plants how close nearby and uh, I, I forgot to say but some uh, parameters are randomized so the the rotation uh, of some plants the which plant is uh, where is also randomized if i rerun this script we will see that it will be different 
and it's even but you can change this if, if I put for example one 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 here that means we will have way more of one plant so we have one one two three four five six seven seven elements on seven elements we have five of one so we will have five seventh uh, of the whole plants being the one so you can see here that the beet leaves are way more um, majority than the other ones I don't know if I went back yes I need to go back uh, up to here and then you get this as a result I should have shown this uh, before so you get this as if you had a, a top camera and then it goes through your field um, some things will be changed I will make the field bigger so that we don't have so here here you, we, we can wait I will go a bit we can see that this is the size of the picture so this black is not the picture but sometimes you have some black parts like here which are part of the picture and that's something we definitely want to avoid so this will be taken care of maybe by the time you will watch this video it will already be uh, solved um, one other thing that needs to be done is uh, to get masks of these so to know which plant is where so to have a black and white picture with the um, the white masks uh, around surrounding it and then the next step after this would be to augment this data to add some noise and to make it a bit more realistic um i think i went through everything so long story short if you just want to run this you can download it install blender and run this uh, command and you should see in your uh, render data um, the, the, the the output that should be usable thank you for watching